been two days and it's been too long. Let's start a riot! Start a riot! I have like 10 stories for you and it's horrible because I haven't been able to tell you and y'all don't even know about it. So to start off, I haven't had my bike in, I had it, it was down for about three weeks. My fork's been leaking because I suck at doing wheelies, but well, that's part of the process, kind of. I mean, it does not suck in Edward too. So, um, I took my forks to get redone, and it took them a day, and it was done. So, I went to go have my forks redone, and I got a text message the next day saying it was done. But, one of them broke. Um, the screw that holds to the damping rod or the damping rod itself, I don't remember, um, it broke. Um, it was a good friend of mine, he gave me a great deal on the rebuild, so um, I didn't really complain because he helped me out in either way, one was fixed. Um, as a matter of fact, it was this one that was fixed. Um, this one is my replacement. But, I go and get the force re um, I go on Facebook to get a new fork, a replacement one. I only need one, so I only want one. And about 10 people messaged me. Um, some of their prices were outrageous, some of them were for two forks. And um, I find this one guy, uh, let's call him Lonnie, because that's his name. And he gives me a good deal, says he can still two day ship it, it's only a couple bucks, and I say thank you. Send him the money. Um, uh, that was on like a Saturday or maybe a Friday. I don't. I don't remember. Um, so we work out the price. He sends me some pictures, which I'll I'll put over here. I don't know. I'll put them on the screen. And um, I I ask him, hey. How how come you have a cable clutch? And he said, oh, they, we did the clutch mod so we can get a cable clutch. And says that hydraulic that comes on the 07. Um, I'm pretty sure he was lying to me, but... Uh, so I get the fork, I give it to my friends to rebuild. And he messaged me the next day saying it's done. probably put it out. Um, so I messaged him saying, hey, it doesn't fit. He's like, I don't know what happened. I'll send you uh, the one off my personal bike and you can just send that one back. I'm like, okay. So he sent the Let's backtrack a little bit, but um, I talked to him on a Saturday, he'll send, he'll send it on Tuesday, because that was Memorial Weekend or whatever holiday just passed. So he sends it on a Tuesday. I ask him for tracking numbers, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thursday he gives me the tracking numbers. No, that was before the weekend. That was before the holiday. So I ask him Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I ask him for tracking numbers. And he finally gives them to me. I check out my phone and uh, USPS is down and it didn't give me the, the when it should arrive date. But uh, by the time I got home from work, I got on my computer, the website was back up later that day. And I get the tracking numbers and it said he sent it out on a Thursday, not Monday, like he said. Um, not a horrible deal, but he lied to me. Um, by the time I message him and say, hey, shit's fucked up, you need to call me, he finally calls me. 
or he gives me his number and I call him and he says he'll take the fork off of his personal 08. Once again, I say, hey, it's not an 07, but whatever. I'll get another one. And um, he says he'll send it out on Tuesday because that was the weekend. And I message him Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I never get any response from him. I messaged him Friday, and he was like, sorry, man, but in the hospital, it's already done. It's already on its way and I never get it. And then I blow up his phone the following weekend. And he says, hey, I don't want to deal with you anymore. Do you want your money back? And I said, hell yes, I want my money back. I return, go on eBay, get one. It gets shipped out two days later. And come, come, it comes to me, it has a new fork on it or a new uh, seal and dust cover. It's not leaking, I'm good to go. you're good, doesn't look good, there's no cracks, and I try to run, there's nothing. And I'm like, awesome, that's great news. I go to install it, fits like a charm. Um, the only difference is, like you can see, there's a little bit of color difference. Um, I believe the blue is from the fading, and this is like a greenish color, probably a faded other color, and that's like silver or whatever. Deal. I don't, that doesn't bother me. I'm sure eventually I'll freak out about it, but until then, not worried. Um, and then I get the second fork, and then a couple days later, the guy texted me and says, Hey, um, where's, my, where's my original fork? And I said, um, Quote for quote, or I'll put it up in text. And I said, hey, I'm still waiting on the second one that you said you shipped out and I never got. Can I have the tracking numbers, please, so I can send you the first one back? And he says uh, something along the lines of, well, hey, I need it for a project, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, here, here's our issue. I'm willing to send it to you, but I spent money to have the forks rebuilt. You need to either pay for the forks or you need to give me give me the tracking number for the other one which you sent out over two weeks ago and he's like dude that's not right I already give you your money back blah 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 and I'm like that's that's fine you did right by me but I'm still down money so I either need to make my money I need to make my money back somehow and yes I'm being very rude but I called it I called this guy out on it and he he lied to me he told me it was the fork I needed when it wasn't Obviously, I was a little upset. Doesn't make my actions right, but I mean, it does whatever. Um, so now I still have the fork, and um, this guy hasn't messaged me in about a week, and I'm probably just gonna sell it because I don't need it. It doesn't fit my bike. Um, I, I, I sent this guy uh, part numbers of my fork that was broken and his fork. The part numbers weren't the same. Um, he still won't admit to it, but um, that, that's part of what it is um, dealing with Facebook. I, I can't make a claim on on eBay over this. or He already sent me the, my money back, so it's not a total loss. I've been going through, um, by the time I got the second fork in, um, it literally took me five minutes to rebuild it. I got a video on that. This is just the, the whole story. Um, it took my friend two days to get to it, which is fine. My friend's really busy. Uh, I got the whole summer to ride. I'm not worried about two days. I, I was pretty worried about the three weeks, but I mean, whatever. It's done. on this fucking moron for two weeks. And by the time I got my money back, I ordered a new one. That took a week because I ordered on like Friday or Saturday or something. Uh, so I hope you guys 
don't mind me uh, not being that positive, being a little bitch about not having a bike. Um, give me a thumbs up if you don't hate the story. Comment. Let me know what you would have done. And uh, because I'm awesome and Devin Cade is an amazing name, hit the subscribe button, guys. I don't know how to turn this fucking thing off. Where's the...